Welcome back to the Legion Box Music Show. We yeah, had a disconnect because of our, uh, our software. had a, a bug of some sort that just kicked us off live. But yeah, coming to you live once again. And hopefully the rest of who was with us will join us on our, uh, our new stream here. But yeah, I just listened to one of our tracks. We didn't get a chance to review it. So we're going to go ahead and listen to the track again. He's done this up tomorrow with no reason. Dinosaur on stage at one point. Oh. What, like, y'all just look like you're so much better to see live. Oh, they were all scarecrow. I, I, I mean, y'all all had like a bit of a scarecrow vibe, but the drummer was the only one actually wearing the, overalls. He was the, the scariest crow. <laughs> like, he had overalls and everything, like a plaid crow. shirt situation. It was fantastic. Yeah. It was beautiful. Everything about this band just seems so much fun. Yeah, lovely aesthetic. They always mm -hmm. have a wonderful attitude, also. Really love the machine like sound. Really, uh, reminds me of like a, uh, Clash of Devil Driver and a Cannibal Corpse together. I think what I love best is how the song's music sounds very motivational and the lyrics are very like not very like the upside, <laughs> very like the opposite of motivational. Like I just I love oh, that. Yeah. It's so ironic. I love it. What a great way to start the show. I'm oh, glad yeah. we got to listen to it a second time. It's really fun. Very uh, straight to roots vibe. 
Oh my that, god. Uh, music is very just uh, like almost riffage. pure metal. Yeah, like that riffage is so classic and so catchy. I love it. Uh, beautiful. Very catchy tone. Sounds like it would be like easy to remix as well. Like very very yeah. like, catchy. <laughs> I dig it. I hope all your music sounds just like that. Oh, y'all from Texas. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That means there's actually a chance we can see them live someday. Yeah, I forget oh, they're from the same so state cool. as us sometimes. That'd be so cool. I want to see y'all live someday. Yeah, that was Duck Me Some Tomorrow with their track No Reason. Great video, also. Great mm -hmm. track. You can check out more tracks by them also from that uh, last YouTube link I posted. And be sure to listen to uh, more tracks by Darkness of Tomorrow from the last link I posted. Be sure to give them a subscribe and let them know what you think about the music in the chat. Also, thanks everyone for joining us again. Especially you, Wolf Flow, because it's probably disconnected right after you commented. Uh, and I bet that was annoying. <laughs> but thanks everyone for joining us. And here's the next uh, link I just posted. Artist by the name of Stolen Sun. Not the sun you're thinking of, the, the solar system sun. <laughs> and this is their track, Cruel Joke. Much like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Great April Fool's track to play. <laughs> oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. Right. Your son actually uh, got me pretty good. He's like, we're going camping <laughs> for a field trip. And I'm like, oh, really? I, I guess y'all are going camping. And he's like, April Fool's. Uh, like, oh, wow. Of course y'all aren't going camping. No. It ain't the magic school bus. They ain't going in the middle of the woods. Uh, Shrink yourselves and live inside a wooden log for a day. <laughs> but I don't know because I haven't been to school in like 20 something years. <laughs> uh, school is like a favorite place. Awesome. Not sure if I'm on. Okay, I am on the right page. Yeah. But here's a uh, stolen son with cruel joke. Spotify usually takes us.
of black metal is basically a surfer rock, but extra distorted. <laughs> it was very surfer rocky in a way. Yeah. <laughs> It, it's almost like the only thing that I was missing was more continuous distortion in the guitar because uh, the way it was a uh, you know, unorthodox approach to it almost just sounds like a, a campfire track of yeah, a black metal song. It kind of does. And, uh, what a black metal kids do <laughs> and the cult crowd does on their summer vacations and I'm spring sit, break. Sitting around the campfire with an acoustic guitar. Get this one out, kids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> doom folk, hardcore blues. I like doom folk. Yeah, yeah, that's a. I love it. I get it now. Very uh, sweet approach. And I love the idea of taking the acoustic doom guitar folk. and still applying black metal to it. Like that's so, that's so fantastic. Like keep doing that. It's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> acoustic metal, like unplugged uh, black metal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep up that. Uh, you at least keep that aesthetic for a good EP. Yeah. Entire EP. Yeah, for real. It's a fun aesthetic. I think just play around with it. Like, milk it as much as you can, for real. Cult fire tracks. <laughs> but the chocolate marshmallow, not the white one. <laughs> black mar chocolate marshmallow. Black chocolate marshmallow. Black Burn them and make them even blacker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little flow with morbid remorse. You can check out more of the music from the last link I posted. Or should uh, let him know what you think about his music in the chat. And give him a subscribe on his, on his uh, music channel on YouTube. Here's our next, our next artist by the name of uh, Jacob Sid uh, featuring Beta Blade. Unless it's Beta Blade featuring Jacob Sid. Looks like Jacob Sid's, Jacob Sid's name is first. And it's a Prodigy cover, one of my favorite songs by Prodigy. Here's Smack My Bitch Up. With a nice video accompanying, also.
uncover. Best cinematography was fucking fantastic. Holy cow. Oh yeah, I love the editing and the uh, three use there. Oh my god, just the, 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 the combination of digital and practical effects. So, I don't know, I'm kind of a sucker for like practical effects and horror media. So it's just, it's just really exciting. I don't know. Very well done. And it really kept the same energy as the original song and really threw it in a different direction. Really in the metal ball part. I really, really admire the, the uh, direction you went with that cover. Yeah. I, I feel like there was a lot of love that went into that video. Whoever directed it and everything, like, give them a big old high five. Like, there was a lot of, a lot of love that went into that. Very well done. Very classic aesthetic, too. Takes me back to the twisted and ICP day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was gonna say I like this cover better than the original, also. Just because oh, yeah. I like the more modern sound. I don't know. Yeah, very uh, great take of a cover of Prodigy. I do kind of, I do wish Prodigy was still around. They, uh, they grew on me uh, very slowly over over the decades, actually. Yeah, they, they grew on me like song by song over a very long time. I've only heard the yeah. one, and <laughs> I think I like this better than that one. <laughs> great cover. Yeah, really, uh, thanks for the nostalgia on that one. And, uh, yeah, again, a great cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really great hope you... Yeah, great editing and cinematography. Great animations, all of it. Amazing practical effects. Yeah, I also really hope you keep the same energy with the rest of the tracks. I hope you use the same practical effects on stage. Like, I hope you're just as theatrical on stage. I really yeah. do. And if you're not, you should consider it, because that would really elevate things the way it did in the video. I had two cents anyway. That's fun. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was Jacob Sid and Beta Blade with Smack My Bitch Up <laughs> as a Prodigy cover. You can check out more of their music from the last YouTube link I posted. Let them know what you think about the music in the chat. Give them a subscribe on the YouTube channel. And there's our next artist by the name of Radioactivity that I just posted in the chat. And yeah, it sounded a little familiar. I can't remember how far away we played their track before. Or if we ever have. Yeah. Here's Soul Danella by Radioactivity, also our first music shift for tonight. If uh, Wolf Flow wasn't enough anyway. <laughs>
ending. How dare you? My heart is broken. Instant ending. I was vibing. <laughs> you just pulled the rug out in front of my feet. Now I want to cry. That was gorgeous. Oh my god. That was like 60% Disney magic, 40% like pop rock ballad style, and then just like whatever percentage, I can't imagine right now, whatever percentage left, like synth wave. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah, very, uh, it's not, go ahead. very elevator like chill vibe to it. It sounded like the kind of music you would literally sell to a pop star. Or, mm -hmm. or, or like, I don't know, like Imagine Dragons level of pop rock or whatever genre they are now. I don't know, I can't keep track anymore. Alternative mm -hmm. rock or whatever. I don't know. It sounds like the kind of music you would literally like make bake off of selling to a pop star who's trying to like be really epic on stage for a show. For real, that was gorgeous. And it was nostalgic. I agree with Seventh Day Adventure. Like, that shit made me feel like 2010, 2015 Lindsey Sterling kind of feels for like the first half of it. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. Great synth work. Yeah, it must be a lot of the, uh, some of the instructional videos they have on YouTube. Kind of, yeah, give but you a, more epic. Yeah, a little more... Uh, more depth. <laughs> yeah, they give you a very uh, successful uh, vibe. I had a... Uh, it felt like Disney magic with a little bit of a minor. Mm -hmm. I, those minor chords really elevated everything, despite the whole song is in major. But those minor chords really, really added so much. Oh my god. I'm blown away by uh, this person's clear musical genius in music theory. <laughs> Yeah, very, uh, I don't know, is this one person or three? Very energetic, uh, good wake me up song. I want to go frolic in a field of flowers now. <laughs> like, that's how that song made me feel. Like, I just want to go frolic in a field of flowers. And, and Later. Yeah, that sounds fun. After yeah. we hear all these artists, we can go frolic in the flowers uh -huh. and stuff. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> It'll be all dark. It's supposed to rain. It's not. <laughs> it's not insane we did. <laughs> Yeah, with radioactivity with their track, uh, Saldanella. A wonderful mm -hmm. composition. Yeah. That's gorgeous. And yeah, you should let us know what your track name means. I could look it up, but I'm already going to Yeah, a little bit. Why, so, why the sudden ending? <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have questions about that. Why the sudden ending? You should write it with the less sudden ending and then send it to us. Yeah, be sure to give a uh, radio activity a subscribe, listen to uh, more of their music from the last YouTube link I posted, let them know what you think about the music in the chat. And here's our uh, next artist I just posted in the chat, artist by the name of Bloodshot. And this is their track, Move. Sounds like it might be motivational. It's either motivational or road, road rage <laughs> That's a form of motivation. <laughs> yeah. Gives you work on time when you're already running late. <laughs> Pedestrian road rage, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Move, bitch! <laughs>
Oh yeah, very uh, love the machine-like sound. Love the vocalists and the way y'all harmonize together. Oh, my oh yes. Love the aesthetic of the music video. Love the lyrics. Takes me back to the sponge shank days. Mm. I'm not sure if that band's still around. I've never been They had a very unique uh, machine-like sound and a uh, yeah, strong, hard, and soft vocals. And a great uh, harmonizing. Just like this band, great uh, vocal harmonizing and a, a great uh, musical chemistry. Your bassist is amazing at the video. Oh, yeah. Just, that, that is not something I get to say very often. Mm -hmm. I have to say it, your bassist is amazing. The bass line from that song is incredibly groovy, and I'm just like still kind of jamming to it. Like, that's great. That's fantastic. I don't know how I'm Yeah, really, I love the bass uh, tone a lot. Very uh, catchy track in general. Yeah, I feel uh, like uh, although we have 103 subscribers, y'all deserve more. Yeah, I feel like this song could apply to just uh, just uh, metalheads in general, but also a uh, party metalhead. Oh my god, this would be great workout music during like a depression episode. <laughs> like, yeah, I feel just like, saying. Oh yeah, you can do so much with that track. I know, right? Yeah, very versatile. Very versatile. Like, I love it. Everything about it. Fantastic. Thanks for having me. Oh yeah, that was. That was Bloodshot with the track Move. And you can check out more of their music for the last a YouTube link I posted. Let them know what you think about their music in the chat. And give them a subscribe on their YouTube channel. And there's our next artist that I just posted in the chat by the name of Free Road. Please, a song we've promoted before. This is She Said. Keyboard is like ding 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 ding, and he's just like <laughs> chilling from like shoulders up, just no movement yeah. whatsoever. Slight smile on his face, like how you doing that? <laughs> how you looking so chill? Arm dancing. <laughs> Literally, like the rest of you was so still, and your fingers just moving so fast. You crossed your arms at one point, like a show off. It was fantastic. Oh yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Everybody looked so chill while they were performing, while making like literal magic. How y'all doing that? Yeah, I feel like it's been really. <laughs> Especially the song, but the whole band really pays a, a lot of homage to Nirvana and Kurt Cobain. It. Especially with the sunglasses and the <laughs> close-up scenes of the smile, the smirk in the sunglasses, and the, the she said over and over again. <laughs> it it's also a, a it, it's also lyrics from a Nirvana track mm. over and over again. <laughs> <she said part. laughs> That's 
That's true. Uh, there's so many references in there. It's just really hard for me not to say. <laughs> at least mention that it, for, it is probably factual <laughs> that you guys all love Nirvana and at least have that in common. Or at least have been inspired by the, yeah. the time period of music. It's definitely got like a very grungy kind of, kind of vibe to it. Yeah, very. Like 90s grunge specifically. Yeah, very classic 90s uh, grunge-like feel. Mm -hmm. A little bit softer in like the actual tone of the song stuff. Yeah. That's more the, more the modern flavor, I guess. Yeah, I like that song a lot. I'm glad we got to hear it again. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was just a few episodes back. I think we promoted it. And here it is again. That was Free Road, where she said, you can uh, check out more of their music from the last YouTube link I posted. Be sure to let them know what you think about their music in the chat and give them a subscribe on their YouTube channel. Now, we're a Nick Produce. We're platinum selling artists from the second dimension. You know it better as hell. You crossed over into your dimension to try out your metal scene instead. After crossing over, possessing these two bodies from the southern United States. And uh, so far, everything's going so far. Going pretty good so far. We've uh, got two albums now. Uh, one of them is free to listen to on YouTube. The other one is purchasable off of our website. At NakedGoodNews.com But uh, we also got a few videos. We just, one uh, video we just recently uh, released about a month ago and you can uh, check out that one on our YouTube link also we're gonna go on a 10 minute break here and uh, during our break we'll play uh, we'll take 10 minutes to play some of our music and we'll come back to play the rest of these lovely artists during this particular break you'll hear just one of our tracks because it's about a nine minute track it's our uh, collaboration with uh, uh, Midnight Lost this is Breaking the Circle, and uh, after about 10 minutes, uh, we'll come back to play the rest of these tracks. So just sit tight, and I'll take a bathroom break, or yeah. whatever you do, in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> and then we'll see you in 10 minutes or so.
Because the track is also called Hunting for God. So it's uh it's the band title track. Self titled <coughs> song and band, that's cool. Yep. I love when that happens.
is absolutely gorgeous. Oh yeah, very, so beautiful. very royal and majestic sound. Something about y'all's vocal harmonies really gave me like sea shanty vibes and I can't <laughs> explain why, but it just did and I love it. It made me feel adventurous. I wanted to go ride a boat somewhere dangerous. I love it. It's yeah. just beautiful. Majestic pirate vibe. Absolutely majestic. More like Viking vibes, I'm gonna be honest oh, yeah. with you. Like, uh, like think majestic about it. Viking kind of vibes. Like something mm -hmm. about those harmonies just made me think of the ocean and dangerous boat rides. I don't know why. Just had that vibe and I love it. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. That is a great song to have named your band after. Good choice. Like I don't even have to listen to the rest of your songs. <laughs> that was the right choice right there. That was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to listen to the rest of this album though. Love yeah. the uh, classic metal sound also. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thirteen out of ten would recommend. Absolutely beautiful. Y'all are kind of mysterious too. I was trying to like Google y'all because you have nothing under your Spotify about like Very I, want, I want some band, band. lore. I need some band lore. Tell me about your band. I'm curious. Beautiful. I love the color scheme of the album art as well. Oh yeah, I love the artwork. Yeah, but, like, Lovely vocal harmonies and I really love the drum work a lot. I'm really into the composition of the vocal harmonies. And the guitar work, oh my god, it's just epic all the way around. Oh um, yeah, that was that. Uh, I'm making it hard to pick a favorite artist tonight. So <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of great artists tonight. Like every time I think I I've agree. picked my favorite artist, like somebody else shows up, I'm just like, well maybe they might be my favorite artist. <laughs> oh yeah, that was uh, Hunting for Gods with their track Hunting for Gods. <laughs> You can check out more of their music for that last uh, Spotify link I posted. Uh, let them know what you think about their music in the chat. Give them a follow on their Spotify page. Please tell me the album is also called Hunt. <laughs> I would just, I, I would be so happy. I mean, it says it right there on the album, but, <laughs> or on the album art. It doesn't mean it's actually like the album page. It oh. would make me happy. Please mention in the comments <laughs> <laughs> if the album is also called Hunting for Guys. <laughs> yeah, he's an artist. I think we promoted it last week. I can't remember. Awesome. Or if it was the last, uh, or if it was awesome. even the same song. There's Mika Rapello with uh, Leister. Right there. Yeah. Almost halfway there, guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
single artist speak up. How do you handle doing all of that? Like, I guess you wouldn't be able to do it live, but you know, it but, all in the studio. Yeah, there'd be a lot of back, back play uh, involved live. Yeah, that'd be difficult to achieve. It's still pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, very energetic song. And very a very, a very uh, catchy song and composition. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Live Steel Murder by uh, Mika Raffaello. Well. Oh yeah, you can check out more of the music uh, from the uh, link I posted in the chat, that Spotify link, and be sure to let him know what you think about his music in the chat, and give him a follow on his Spotify page, and here's our next artist, by the name of, uh, I believe it's a better, okay. a, a better, I, I am not really sure how to pronounce the band name, <laughs> uh, Petra. That's my best. I'm sorry. <laughs> Petra sounds uh, probably the best it way. Here's a, a little live track from a venue by the name of a Center for Public Secrets. Here's a Petra with Super Fun Scuba. We'll be starting it from the middle of the track. It's kind of a longer song. It's in French. <laughs>
still can't figure out how to pronounce her damn name. But I did learn that it's French for like to knock something over, or knock it down, or to fall down. Uh, okay. Or something of that nature. Mm -hmm. Depends on how it's conjugated or used in the context. But on its own, kinda hard to figure out. <laughs> that was fun. I would love to see y'all live. Like not just in a video, but like live live. That was really fun. Like I'd love to be at like a bar or a restaurant to see y'all on stage. Yeah, it'd yeah, be awesome. So awesome. <laughs> yeah, lovely us. Uh, Really funky little rock band. Uh, really took a lot of different uh, uh, elements and smashed them all together. I love it. Very uh, DIY uh, vibe to it. Mm -hmm. Very unique sound while simultaneously being very beautiful and fun. Almost uh, like a Hawaiian gorilla. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I was having a hard time figuring out what to compare <laughs> y'all to. The closest I got was like the cure, but groovy. Oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> like that was the best I could do. And even then, that really wasn't the best way to describe y'all. Fucking fantastic though. Perfect vacation music. <laughs> like oh, your yeah. music makes me think of going on vacation. 100%. Mm -hmm. I love it. Oh yeah. That was Abattoir. 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 That's the closest I got. I don't know how to say French words, sorry. Yeah, that was Abattoir with super fun scuba. Live at Center for Public Secrets. So like that's a cool a venue. Right? That, that's all your cool venue. Public Secrets, right? <laughs> yeah, you can check out more of their music from the last uh, YouTube link I posted. Let them know what you think about the music in the chat. And uh, don't forget to give them a subscribe on the YouTube channel. And there's our uh, next artist. Artist by the name of Rain of Darkness. Here's Unseen Torment. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, those vocals though, y'all harmonize so well together. Oh yeah, there's so many different types of vocal techniques used oh together. God. And they sound so good together, like no matter what y'all are doing, whether it's call and response or doing it at the same time, like ah, beautiful. And like the way that rhythm was carried the entire song, it was almost like an industrial club song, but like not, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, I kind of want to hear that at a club and dance to it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That was so great. <laughs> Just, ah, I loved it. That's fun. That's fun. It was beautiful. The lyrics probably not so much, but I was able to understand most of those. <laughs> yeah, I really love the uh, choice of riffs. Mm -hmm. Very catchy tone and catchy riffs. Yes. And somehow you just managed to carry that, whether it's the drums or the guitar, or both at the same time. Just, it somehow managed to get carried throughout the entire song, even when the instruments like changed. It was great. It was beautiful. It was seamless. Um, I really checked all the boxes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was Rain of Darkness with their track, Unseen Torment. Mm -hmm. You can check out more. <laughs> you can check out more of their music from the last YouTube link I posted. Let them know what you think about their music in the chat. And give them a subscribe on the YouTube channel. And here's our, our next artist I just posted in the chat. Artist uh, by the name of, of Arwasa. I believe it's also a Booch of Change. It is a little familiar. Uh, art uh, track name is called Void. I love that, that artwork. That artwork. That artwork. That artwork. Yeah, this is also one, another longer track like the other one we played. It will be started from the middle all the way to the end of the track. Guitar work, great up bass work. Just incredibly epic. I can tell all of y'all are incredibly skilled. 
and or talented. Like, holy cow. You know, it's a lovely album artwork, too. Yes. Yeah, he's making music. He's doing what you're doing. And it helps hot. That's really, that's it. <laughs> like, absolutely beautiful. Oh, so you should let us know the, uh, what the origin of your band name is. Yeah. Or if I pronounced it correctly or not. Yeah. I believe it's Arwasa. Maybe it's Arvasa. Arvasa. Is there any chance we could ever see you live? Because I would love to do mm -hmm. that. It's like it would be a hell of a time. Either way, that's, uh, that was Arwasa. I guess I'll stick with that pronunciation. <laughs> that's, that was their track. That was their track, <laughs> Void. Or at least half of their song. Like All the way to the end. <laughs> The old track is about eight minutes. If you want to check out the entire track, you can, uh, <laughs> yeah, you can go to that last YouTube link I just posted, and you can check out the whole track "Void" by Arwasa. And be sure to also uh, let them know what you think about the music in the chat, and give them a subscribe on the YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, it's fun. There's our next artist. I just posted in the chat. Uh, another uh, mood chip change nice. by the name of uh, Tangerine Nova. Yeah, yeah it's Tangerine Nova with new beginnings. Yeah. Sounds helpful. A little obscure indie rock band. Nice. Some sort. All right, get.
took me back to that coheed and Cambria days. Yeah, I was like, come on, 2014, 2012. Mm -hmm. Like that was that was kind of like the vibe I was getting. Absolutely beautiful vocals. Oh my goodness. Yeah, very smooth, uh, pristine vibe. Got a lot of potential to like be like super radio friendly. Like a lot of potential there. Just saying, like. Oh yeah, it's you're really checking all of the mainstream boxes for real. <laughs> And I think that's something you should maybe shoot for. Because it's got like a very, very classic sound. Very radio friendly and very, very clear and soft and professional sounding. Oh yeah, definitely reach out to some local radio stations. For sure. To get more music played. Yeah. Very oh, catchy wow. tone. Just very talented. A lot of talent there. Oh, Especially yeah. in the vocals. Especially hitting those higher notes and holding them out. Like that's, that's a... That's a feat. <laughs> For real, like, many pop stars can't do that. They just write good songs, you know? Like, that's, like, actually some skill right there. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tangerine Nova with their track, New Beginnings. You gotta uh, check out more of their music for the last YouTube link I posted. I get the vibe this is a solo artist, but, like, maybe with a producer helping out. Um, yeah. Is this a band? I'm curious. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let's know in the comments later if there's a band or a solo project. It has the vibe of a solo project. Yeah. And that's what you're going for, even if it's a band. So I'm just curious. It's very pretty. Oh, yeah. Our, uh, next yeah, artist, our next artist is uh, another uh, artist name. I'm going to have issues uh, pr <laughs> pronouncing, just like our last few of them. I believe it's uh, Rizomata. I would have said Rizomata. Rizomata. I would have. But it could be Rhizomata because of this track name coming up. Right? Yeah. Like Rise Up. So Rhizomata. Yeah, the track name is called Rise Up. So maybe the artist's name is Rhizomata. Because there's like some cuttery wordplay going on. Mm -hmm. And y'all will see when it's on the screen. Because let's just say Rise Up just sounds like Rise Up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rise Up doesn't, doesn't make sense. Ritz. Ritz, up. Ritz Crackers. <laughs> Sponsor has to okay. Uh, okay, okay. Here's a uh, Rizomata. 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 <laughs> with a uh, Rise Up. Tell us the meaning behind that band name, please. <laughs>
shit. That was fantastic. That was epic. That was cranked up to 13. I love it. Oh, yeah. Uh, very um, nostalgic tone. It's very nostalgic. Holy oh, shit, how y'all doing that? That was gorgeous. Very classic guitar. Uh, very classic guitar tone in general. I and like, I love the drum work a lot also. I got like nightcore vibes, but if you take away the symphonic part, replace it with metal chord. Like, that's how epic it was. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that was so beautiful. There's so much, so much energy in that. Yeah, lovely energy. I would love to see y'all live. I want to hear more of your music. That's more you recently, so that I have extra sources to because <laughs> I'm forgetful. <laughs> you should. Yeah, more than welcome to send us some free merch also. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. We love a free t-shirt. You do. Well, we'll wear, wear, your, uh, wear your shirt, uh, promote your fan uh, through a t-shirt on our show for sure. Maybe we'll even start posting them on Instagram. Want to check out this video? <laughs> check out our shirts. You can buy their shirts here. You can start doing that. Hell yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. send us shirts so we can like, promote you some Oh yeah, that was Rise of Mana. And then it'd be an interesting shirt to wear with your band name on it. Also with their album art, like that shit is just beautiful. Like the Illuminati confirmed kind of, <laughs> kind of situation you got going on there. Oh it's yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> beautiful. Lovely pyramid work. Mm -hmm. Although you can vaguely see like stars in there. You mm -hmm. squint your eyes just right. Which I got it fix it on my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was ri Rise Up with the band, the band Rise and Mata. I believe that's how you pronounce it. We're trying our best. But uh, you can check out more music by them from the last Spotify link I posted. Let them know what you think about their music in the chat. Give them a follow on the Spotify page. Also, uh, be sure to uh, check out our album. It's on our uh, YouTube channel. We also have a new album you can purchase on our, our website at nextbeardnews.com. We'll be uh, going on another break here in about a minute. Pulling off the uh, little studio here. That's pretty hot in here. <laughs> we'll be uh, playing a few more of our tracks, starting with uh, our newest single for Pedal. A uh, little visual here, followed by a few more of our tracks. And we'll be back in about 10 minutes to play the rest of these artists. Maybe I pressed the wrong button yeah. by mistake. Yeah. Here we are. And we'll be back in about 10 minutes to play the rest of these artists.
And you heard some of our track uh, for uh, Defrag. And here's our, uh, our next our next artist I just posted in the chat. Artist we've been promoting for a while now. This is Bullet to the Heart with Graveyard Lovers.
some major birthday basket vibes from yeah. that one. Like, uh, yeah. something about like the the specific minor chords y'all chose and the notes and all that. It's gorgeous. That's beautiful. It's very oh, catchy so at tone. Friendly. Oh yeah, very uh, catchy tone and a very uh, reminds me a lot of the cranberries. Mm. It's more of a metal approach. I totally see that. The song has like so much remix potential, like for real. <laughs> it's so yeah. catchy. It's beautiful, beautiful vocals as always. She has such an amazing voice and so versatile. Like I swear, every song we get from you has oh, like, yeah. a little bit of a style change to it. It's just like, wow, y'all can do that too. It's like every Love song it. is its own genre. For real, how are y'all doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all like finding your own or are you just that versatile? Like, is that just like your vibe? You do everything and you're good at it? I love it. I can't wait to see y'all get really big and famous. I really can't. I know it's gonna happen. Yeah. Y'all just keep making music. It's gonna happen. You got a perfect sound. Oh yeah, it's a pleasure. Always a, always a pleasure to hear another uh, bullet to the heart track. Mm -hmm. They all typically sound different from one another. And so is uh, Graveyard Lovers by Bullet to the Heart. Uh, you can check out more of their music from the last YouTube link I posted. Be sure to let them know what you think about their music in the chat. And give them a, a subscribe on the YouTube channel. And here's our next artist that I just posted in the chat. Artist by the name of Aira. I said Ira. Ira? I love her. Aira. Aira. How do we say your name? Yeah, let us know how to properly pronounce your name. I believe it could be... It could be Ira or Aira. This is the track, No Hopes. Apparently from Spain. 
okay. All the way from Spain. I had to find y'all on Facebook to figure that <laughs> out. Y'all are so mysterious on Spotify. There's nothing in your about section. Man, that was gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Great composition. Very uh, catchy tone and uh, mm -hmm. love the guitar riffs. Was that guitar or was that all synthetic? Like, I actually could not tell. Yeah, it's hard to tell if he was a mix of both. I know the beginning was definitely like almost all synthetic. It had to be. And then it just kind of got blurry there in the middle. I wasn't sure. Absolutely fantastic. Love those vocals as well. The yeah. classic tone of those vocals. Yeah, I love the vocal tone. It really had a very cinematic feel to it. It did. Very epic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, great mixing mm -hmm. and editing. And producing, all the things. A lot of a technical skill went into that one. Yeah, that was Aira, uh, or Ira, or Ira, with the track No Hopes. You can check out more of their music from the last Spotify link I posted. Let them know what you think about their music in the chat, and give them a follow on their Spotify page. Here's our next artist. Another artist we've uh, promoted a few times before, and the mood shift change, who's Flip Roth Steve with Purpose. Your name sounds very familiar. Yeah. And practically played half this album by now. Like who was he? 
the narrative and honesty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love to, like, you know, self-hype. Yeah, really, uh, really, we, uh, really deep tone to use. Mm -hmm. uh, each song, at least so far, had a very, has a very, uh, very catchy beat to it. Mm -hmm. It seems like we've heard uh, at least a fraction of uh, this album or EP uh, so far on this show. It's been great. The songs are awesome. One track at a time. <laughs> Always very uh, captivating lyrics. Mm -hmm. And it's another one with very, uh, very, uh, uh, very, very uh, uh, motivated, motivational lyrics for this one. I love your poetry. And oh yeah. Your, like your rhymes are really clever. Some of the lines you come up with. Really uh, yeah, that was a uh, Cliff Rothstein with the track Purpose. You can check out more of this music from the last YouTube link I posted. Be sure to let go to think about his music in the chat and give him a subscribe on the YouTube channel. Here's our uh, next artist. Okay, I'm going to post the wrong way. This is a artist by the name of Gods of War. Our next artist, uh, they've also uh, sent us a lovely donation and we thank them for that. This is their track, uh, Run Silent.
Yeah, that was the name of the artist that actually runs silent, Oops. I believe. And the name of the song is God's of War. Why did the song name God's of War sound so good? We probably have uh, played it, uh, uh, or at least mentioned it incorrectly last time, too. Oh, uh, that's very possible. But either way, he was a. No, we're still kind of very, a donation. <laughs> very polite person. Yeah, a very polite band for uh, not uh, not hitting us with the belt over that, <laughs> and sending us the donation. It's dead. And uh, yeah, <laughs> very uh, very colossal classic metal sound. Mm -hmm. Almost reminds me of the uh, the demo days of Metallica. Oh my gosh, I'm so thinking like Metallica vibes, but not mm -hmm. Metallica vibes are like old school and better somehow. Oh yeah. Well, somehow it's not hard. Yeah, all the way back to the uh, search and destroy days. Yeah. Really gives me that vibe. Yeah. Well, being a little bit more epic. I would oh say. yeah. Probably because of the modern technology yeah. available to us now. Mm -hmm. More of an epic sound. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, so that I was can't a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we apologize. We're correcting it now. Either way, we we appreciate the donation, and we uh, went ahead. And and sent them our whole album. I was, about to, their, I was just about to ask that. Was that enough for the whole album? Yep. I still need to purchase their ad for that donation. So now that we've listened to it, I'll make that happen. And I'll get a, I'll, you know, for the amount of the donation, I'll purchase you guys an ad. I'll stay up till a certain amount of clicks. Lots of opportunities for people to check the music out. Oh, uh, yeah. Lots of views for your video. Yeah. I'll purchase that right after the show. Yeah, be sure to listen to more music by Red Silent from that last YouTube link I posted. They can uh, let them know what you think about their music in the chat. And give them a follow or a subscribe on their music channel for YouTube. Oh gosh, it's on YouTube Music. It's so fancy yep. looking. <laughs> so yeah, I never the use the uh, music section of YouTube. Not unless it comes up here. It's so fancy. Mm -hmm. It's so fancy. Here's our... Uh, the next artist I just posted in the chat. Another artist we promoted a few times before. Yeah, this is Jacob Van No. Where there's a patriotic song, Fallen Heroes. Oh, I just had a tear always fucked with my I guess it's not completely one. I don't know what it is. Depends on your perception of imagery, I suppose. I don't know, I'm just easily sweating that much. A guitar with a bat. I would love, I would, I would hate to see that. <laughs> <laughs>
guy going? Yeah, I really love your, uh, your uh, shred voice, mm -hmm. your uh, thrash voice. Very, very classic heavy metal sound to your voice. And to your guitar skills. Very beautiful. Looks like you have a lot of uh, uh, control, zero control over your vocals. Mm -hmm. And I love the uh, guitar uh, uh, front work. Clearly, you're very talented. You probably say that every time when you sit down. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was beautiful. Anyway, yeah, uh, even. Even for a hug. I thought it would be a mood chip change. I guess, uh... Just a little bit. Yeah, Jacob uh, Van Noe, I believe, one of the heavier artists we found from one of the uh, more DIY-like groups. Mm -hmm. It's always a pleasure to hear another track by Jacob Van Noe. And I guess, uh... I guess he writes all the music, even though there's other band members. Okay. Maybe, maybe that's how it's arranged. You should let us know in the chat. I've seen a lot of artists do that. Kind of like how Ghost does it, I guess. Yeah, or like, I guess like Michael Harris does it. Yeah. Like, there are a lot of artists that do that. I guess the gorillas, technically. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. I don't know if we've ever asked or if you've ever told us. Let us know. Also gives me a lot of a good uh, Alice and Alice and Chains vibes. Mm -hmm. Takes me back to Alice and Chains uh, days. It kind of makes me feel more, more nostalgic than that, even I just can't like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was Jacob Van Noe. And, uh, yeah, with their track Fallen Heroes, you can check out more of their music from the last YouTube link I posted. Let them know what you think about the music in the chat. And give them a subscribe on the YouTube channel. Is that first band camp? Yeah, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah, our first band camp link tonight. This wow. is uh, by an artist by the name of uh, C. Hal, which I do believe is a boot should change for oh. sure. Here's uh, the track by the name of See You Around. that our closing song is literally like goodbye and see you around like, <laughs> that's amazing and what a pleasant song Sorry. pleasant vocals pleasant guitar pleasant vibe pleasant lyrics i love it just gorgeous what a lovely way to end the show honestly yeah this song really uh, takes you back to the uh, rock band and guitar hero day a lot of really chill indie tracks on there mm -hmm. 
literally almost help you, almost help you forget you're listening to a track because yeah. they take you to such a mellow, a mellow direction. Like if this song were any longer, it'd be easier to zone out to just bring it out to listen to the music and just assume it was the soundtrack of my life for a moment. It was gorgeous. Oh, we, we were so into it, I forgot yeah. to put the, the artist name. It was also a pretty short track. It, it was a, I had a lot going on in those 120 seconds of the track. <laughs> a little over. But that was a, yeah, that was See How. But there, uh, what was the track? The track was called uh, See You uh, Around. See you around I believe it was. And you can uh, check out more music by them from that last uh, Bandcamp link I posted. The only Bandcamp link we got tonight. <laughs> Congratulations for that, by the way. Yeah, it was like really hard to pick. It so was. Oh my gosh. Like it so, so was. I think, uh, who was it? Uh, the name of the artist was, a, kind of forgot the name. Okay, well I'm going to go and talk about mine while you find hey, yeah. the list. I think it was Rain of Darkness. Oh yeah, they were really good. They were really, really good. Um, I'm going to have to go with uh, Rise of Mata though. Like that one's probably the most memorable for me. It was, that was so hard to pick a favorite artist tonight. There were so many, so many good artists. Everything just kept crescendoing to a better, better show. It was amazing. Yeah, we'd like everyone to... Uh, it did have a bit alone. of a 60s vibe, didn't it? Yeah, lots of uh, uh, mood shift changes all the way back to the 60s. Yeah, lots of nostalgic vibes tonight. Lots of talent, lots of skill. Just amazing. All, all over, uh, all different uh, sorts of time zones tonight. If you want to help support underground artists, feel free to send us a donation. Yeah. If you are an underground artist, send us some music at nightfreednews at gmail.com or on our Facebook or wherever else we have Instagram. We have an Instagram as well. Okay, I think I'm out of things to say. <laughs> yeah, we'll play our music on our track, and we'd also love all of our favorite artists mm -hmm. to start a line to give a lucky e-pet to our mascot, Tootie. Oh, nice uh, yeah. <laughs> little good luck pet to help you on your journey through the, the music scenes. And you have to be quick to pet her, because nice she's, she's very squiggly. Even when she's tired, she doesn't stand still very well. Mm -hmm. That's what makes her so adorable. And uh, feel free to send us a link on <laughs> Facebook Messenger or neckgoodnews at gmail.com. Or, or, uh, or our Instagram. Yeah, we'll add you to our uh, future episode of artists. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we won't be doing a 20 artists an episode anymore. We'll be sticking to a 15 artist schedule. Starting a yeah, week after next will be our next episode. We're also doing them every other week. That's right. We're all weeks now. So be sure to stick around for our next episode around the same time, uh, two weeks from now. Also, my birthday's coming up, so be sure to send us a nice donation. <laughs> like, uh, maybe, uh, maybe some free Just like Run Silent was nice enough to do. Be sure to send us a free merch if you're willing to also. And thanks for tuning in and petting my weasel and 